Steve and I are going to show you a few things to check under the hood of our Toyota Camry. This happens to be a 2009 to 2.4. So show you how to check the oil level, the transmission fluid level, and a couple of other things. Let's get into this. Okay. All right, so lift, to lift the hood up, there's a little latch right here. And you kind of put your finger up and you kind of move up like that to pop the hood. Now the dipstick on this car is located almost in the middle, but a little bit more towards the passenger side. Yellow. It's yellow, it's right here. So you're gonna do it. You wanna check the oil when the car is on level ground. You're gonna pull the dipstick up and out and you're gonna wipe it off. Put it, put it back in, make sure it bottoms out. So when you take the reading, you want the oil closer to the top mark. If it's under the bottom mark, um, you're gonna have to add some oil to the engine and uh, you're gonna have to bring the oil level up. So it should be between these two marks right here. The top mark is where it's full. And remember, when you check the oil level cold, if you let the car sit all night, when you check it in the morning, the level is gonna be a little higher than if you ran the engine and then checked the oil. You always wanna check the oil with the engine off. And on this one, the transmission fluid, you can check the transmission fluid on this vehicle and the dipstick is right here. You wanna pull it out, Tony? Yeah. Yep. There's a little clip holding this in. Yep. So you gotta move this clip to the side. Never saw that before. Pull it out. He's gonna, Tony's gonna wipe it off and then he's gonna start the car because this is the one that you want to check while it's hot. So fire it up. Yep. All right, put that clip to the side, pop in. You want to take it back out. Take it off. I'll wipe it. Yeah, yeah let's wipe it off. We'll put it back in. The mark you're reading. Okay, it's right in between the marks there. And you'll see on this particular dipstick, it has a hot and a cool. So we just started the car up. It's within the range. So it should be good to go. And if it's really low, if it's like between the marks, you can add the uh, transmission fluid to the filler, which is right here, the uh, dipstick tube. So I add a little at a time, that's what you need to do. So a quick overview here, here's your battery cables. You wanna make sure that they're not all corroded and these have been coated with the red spray so they're nice and clean. So that's good. Moving over here, you're looking at your hoses, you're squeezing them to make sure they're firm, they're good. The serpentine belt, you wanna make sure there's no cracks down on the belt. There's no cracks in the belt, that's good. Um, overall, everything underneath here looks good. This is your power stand reservoir here. This is your coolant overflow jug. This is the windshield washer fluid jug. Here's your radiator cap. Um, overall, everything underneath the car looks like it's in good condition. Alternator seems like it's got a little bearing noise. That's the noise we're hearing. And we'll discuss that later. So I hope you liked the video. If you have any questions, leave a comment. I'll reply back to you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You'll see all of our latest and greatest uploads and give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks for watching, guys.